What's up guys, I'm just going to quickly explain what I was using today, how I was fishing it, and you know, all the gear and all that good stuff. So, when I first got there, I was throwing the Ike's Mini Foot for a little bit, which is a small compact jig, and I had the Berkley Powerbait uh, Chigger Curl, yeah, Chigger Curl on the back of that as a trailer. And when I first got there, I was just, you know, tossing it around like I normally do by the banks and stuff. I wasn't really getting any hits the way I normally do, so I started reeling it in almost like you would a swim jig. And that's when I started getting the bites, you know, decided maybe it's time to switch up. But anyways, what I was throwing the jig on was the 7.3 Dobbins Champion. That was a newer rod I got for Christmas, just didn't start using it until now. And then I was throwing it on the Daiwa to tool the CT Type R, which is also a newer reel that I also got for Christmas. I got the regular to tool, but I traded in for this. Um, but anyways, the Dobbins is 7.3 heavy, fast action. For a Dobbins, a heavy is really like a medium heavy. So it was basically, I was throwing a medium heavy, uh, fast action, which is basically all purpose rod, but I like it for jigs. And the gear ratio on the CT Type R is 7 1 to 1. And uh, after I was throwing the jig for a little bit and I realized that when I was drilling it in, that's when the hits were coming, I decided to go around, you know, throw a little crankbait, throw all the moving baits, and th that also wasn't working too well until I switched to a chatterbait, and that's when I started getting some hits. So I was throwing the Chatterbait on my Mega Bass Levante and my uh, Loose Tournament Light, which is a 6 4 to 1 gear ratio. Uh, my Mega Bass Levante is a medium heavy fast action, but it's 7 2, so it's basically the same exact thing as my Dobbin, just an inch shorter. But um, the, J um, the Chatterbait I was throwing when I first got there, or when I first started throwing the Chatterbait, was a Z Man Chatterbait in a bluegill color with a Gambler a little easy on the back. Now that was great. I was getting more bites on that than I did when I lost. After I lost it, I had to switch up to the other bluegill color I had, which was a New Tech Blitz Chatterbait. I think I'm not really sure, but it's a New Tech Chatterbait. And when I switched that, I just got less bites than I did on the Z Man. It's a little bit different color, 
but uh, basically what I was doing with that was I was just throwing it around deep in the middle. I was letting it sink and reeling it off the bottom because it just wasn't working shallow. And it seemed that all the fish were deep within like 10 to 20 feet of water. And that's where I was getting most of my bites of the chatterbait. Um, in the video, I only caught four fish, but I caught around seven or eight, all the same size though, nothing too big. Um, but normally when I do go to that pond, I always at least catch a two pounder. There are big fish in that pond. I've caught some four or five sixes in there but you know it's still early in the year water's still cool so the bite's still going to be a little off then the next month around me probably the spawn will start to happen and that's when you know the fish will move shallower and hopefully be easier to catch mm -hmm.